Vaccinating cattle is important because it improves the health and productivity of your herd by protecting them from a number of diseases. It's usually a low cost and a quick payback if you vaccinate for the right diseases for your property. To be effective, vaccines must be handled and stored properly. Treat them like milk by keeping them refrigerated and avoiding exposure to heat, light or being frozen as they can break down and not work properly. When using vaccines in the yards, crush side, make sure they're kept chilled. If you're going to have the vaccine hanging from your neck for a long time, which could be as little as 10 minutes on a hot day, consider putting it in a cooler or wrap it in a tea towel with an ice pack. This is especially important if you won't use all of the vaccine that day. If you're not using the vaccine for an extended period of time, put it back in the cooler and keep it cool. Some vaccines should be used within one day after opening and others within 30 days. So it's important to check the label and make sure that your vaccine is still effective. It's also important to check the expiry date. An expired vaccine is unlikely to be effective. Reusable guns should be disassembled, cleaned, sterilised, reassembled and calibrated between each use. Do this as soon as possible after use so you know the guns are ready to go for next time. A few tips for vaccine guns and needles. It's always worth having a spare gun on standby. Always discard disposable guns after use. Make sure you keep your needles clean and sharp and change them regularly so they stay sharp. And a good place to start with needles is a 16 gauge half inch for cattle, for adult cattle, um, and an 18 gauge for calves. Most vaccines for cattle, like botulism, leptospirosis, vibriosis, and five or seven in ones, should be given as subcutaneous injections under the skin in the neck area. Orientate the needle so that entry is about 45 degrees to the skin with the bevel parallel to the skin. This allows the opening of the needle to rest under the skin, but above the muscle. A good indication that you're in the right spot to vaccinate under the skin is when there's little resistance to injection. The vaccine pack will cover important instructions like the correct timing of vaccinations, the vaccine schedule, and the need for and timing of boosters. It's important to read the packet to find information such as whether vaccinating a pregnant cow will pass immunity onto the calf. That's really important to know that you're protecting your herd when they need it. A couple of things to avoid, uh, vaccinating cattle when it's raining. A wet hide can increase the risk of infection and potentially abscess formation. And the same goes for extremely dusty conditions. It's also a good idea to never inject two vaccinations into the same spot. So try and keep them at least a hand span apart. Under the LPA accreditation scheme, vaccination records must be kept and should include treatment date, number of cattle and paddock name, vaccination name, batch number, dose rate, withholding period or export slaughter interval, and who administered the vaccination. Templates to help you record the correct information are available from the Meat and Livestock Australia website. The important things to remember is to really read the instructions to make sure you're using best practice for storage and handling of the vaccine and make sure you're using the right technique, otherwise you could be wasting your money. For vaccination help or advice, contact your local veterinarian or department extension officer or visit the Future Beef website. For more information on what diseases you should vaccinate for, visit YouTube and search for Vaccinating for Better Beef Outcomes.